going to sleep in your breakfast, are you? Out, little dog. So far, I have done all the scrubs. Don't let me look there. Let me look there. Is this your little friend? He will be. Back. I don't want Orf. Good morning, guys. So we finished packing all the orders yesterday, and we have six that uh, did not work out. So um, we think two are going to be very easy, just switches. But if not, we have to go through all these boxes to find orders that potentially might have the wrong one in it. I'm so tired. Oh. The other thing is I'm getting messages from my friends saying, wow, you guys ship fast because when we go to buy a shipping label, it gives an announcement to the people, like a notification to the people that the product's been shipped and it hasn't. We just bought the label. So, um, which is weird because in the thing we said we're not shipping it until Friday. So it's weird that it does that. So it could be a setting that we've just missed. But if you're one of those people, it probably just didn't get shipped out when the notification says. Hi. How are you doing? Gonna sleep in your breakfast, are you? A part of me wants to put Peanut back in the pen. I'm wondering if he's a bit depressed because he's not with his friends. But he's not moving very well and I'm afraid of him getting bumped. Do you want to go back with your friends? Hey boys, trying to get de-itchified. Out, little dog. This is one, I think. Yeah. I think that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. We're good. I don't see my lines. I know. I'm gonna have to redo it. <laughs> Yeah, the younger one. has not been fun for the last hour. We so far have figured out three orders. So we only have three to figure out still, right? And we're going through every single box. So we're time stamping when we, when we placed all these orders so we can check uh, order numbers. But yeah, we're going through every single person's order to make sure I didn't screw up, which I did. So far, I have done all the screw ups. We're really just down to one, right? But yeah, it's just taking one. us taking us forever. Okay, next. Next. Seven eleven. And we're thinking that is maybe the one I was in? Yeah. Okay, this one gives me hope. <gasps> Got it! Oh, oh, Got it! Oh. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> so now I get she gets this oh, one. Of course, Emma. 
right? Yeah. It says that in the order, and then that goes in that one. Oh, and then we're done. That's it. Well, today's orders, I guess. Yeah, there's two days. Oh my God! You're coming to get it out. <clears throat> yes. Guys, we did it. We are all done. Everything is packed up. Our shelves are empty for the most part. All our numbers worked out, so I'm hoping everybody's really happy with their orders. We probably redid 60 orders today. Like we ripped them, ripped them open, went through them, and repacked them. So lessons learned. I think the big lessons we learned today was uh, we have to do a better job with packing, like picking the stuff and putting it together, because once we get tired or talking, it gets missed so I got to do a better job of organizing shelves and maybe even get a scanner so you have to actually scan a skew and then you if you scan the wrong skew you like you won't grab that so I think that will help um, our bins were really a really good idea I think our flow is really good we need more space we need more light everything needs to be lifted because our backs and our necks are really sore but other than that I think our packaging was pretty good I would really love to go with some branded packaging if it didn't break the bank i would imagine it does so these are all getting shipped to ups so this is our ups pile so these are all the hat orders and then these are just a box full of orders and then this is all canada post so all this gets shipped these are all full of orders seven big bins was not enough but thankfully i had all the extra boxes. So Chris is gonna help me tomorrow. We're gonna load these all up on the truck team post office because they don't do pickups. And the UPS stuff here is, uh, we've scheduled pickup for that. So if you guys have made an order, thank you so, so much. This has been a lot of fun. It's been really stressful at the beginning, but then once we got in the flow, it was a lot of fun. It was so nice working with my sister and my niece and uh, figuring out what we're good at, what, what roles we're good at. And we're learning a lot. We know that the winter and fall launches will be bigger and I hope we're in the new space because we do not have room down here. The one thing that we have to do now is customer service. Erica is the one that's probably gonna get back to most of your emails, but I do read them if I can, so we'll both get them. So just, uh, just be very patient <laughs> and kind because uh, I'm very sensitive. Erica can handle it, but I just want to please everybody. Good morning, guys. Uh, Friday, already the end of a very busy week. I'm just checking in on our buddy. He's moved because he was here yesterday. How are you doing, honey? I'm gonna go with your friends. Are you depressed by yourself? I guess just a part of me wants to see him with other sheep if it's time to go. I don't want him alone. That back end is not working for him. Changed my mind, brought him out. One big bully went up and just like bowled him over. So we're gonna keep him out here. Peanut stuffs eating and drinking, then I know it's not good. A bit of corn.
Well, everything is delivered. Our insulation for our insulated floor just showed up. So stuff is starting to happen slowly. Are we done backfilling now? Not quite done backfilling, but he's got lots done. So he's got another day or so. A day left. How about I turn the camera? What are we gonna do? We're doing the drains, the, the plumbing drains next Tuesday, I think. So we'll figure out where all the drains and the septic, the sewer line goes. Mm -hmm. And and then once we get that done, we have to fill those holes back in that we dig out. And then we have to lay all those in, out. Inflore heat. Does the inflore heat go in those? Yeah, they're like, um, we really don't want to take one out. No. Well, those ones are out, sort of. It's very tough. It's like Lego. They're like Lego. Yeah, so what happens oh, is you can like you run the in-floor heat like this through it. Oh, neat. So then you don't need the staples and then the concrete gets poured on top of this and then fills in these voids. Cool. Yeah. So, are you ready for the Olympics? Well, I don't know if the Olympics is ready for me. <laughs> All right, well, it's late in the afternoon. Mark has headed back to the cabin to do some work. I'm not sure what he's doing. I can't remember. He told me, but I don't remember. I'm a real active listener. I have been on the phone with a shipping app company or a company that offers a shipping app and a few of my fellow girlies in Ontario who are doing an amazing job with small businesses uh, also recommended this particular app for shipping for our merch. Here's my honey right now. Anyway, so I'm very happy to say the next launch should be much better for shipping and give us more options and hopefully cheaper. So that was this afternoon, but right now I'm gonna go treat Mr. Peanut one more time before I sign off for the day. Hello, Piper. It is our long weekend this weekend. Um, Mark and I really don't have a lot of plans. What would make our perfect weekend is to actually spend some time at the cabin. Uh, we just, this spring and this, so far this summer has just been too busy to spend any real quality time back there. Uh, so I am off chores tomorrow, but I'm gonna do chores for Carissa on Sunday. So I think tonight, tomorrow, we're gonna try to hang out there quite a bit. And then Monday, we're both back, Chris and I, and we're gonna pull cedars and have some fun with our, our girlies and our boys. wash my face because I'm pretty sure I see a couple little spots of orf on you and it's very contagious and you just gave me kisses they were appreciated but I don't want orf good morning tell me how yesterday felt like 35 degrees with the humidity and today feels like 11 and that's exactly what it says on my weather app it is so cold I'm on chore duty, but before we do chores, I need to rearrange my barn because tomorrow's a big day. We're pulling cedars and we're putting the boys and girls together for some summer loving. However, it doesn't feel like summer. It feels like winter, which is good if you're a sheep because they like to do these sorts of activities in the cooler weather. <laughs> So basically all those ladies and those ladies have to go on this side and this whole pen has to go on this side. So we have to swap them. I think I'll put those guys in this pen for a second, get these guys over into this pen and then move these guys onto this side and leave this open for when my breeding groups are all arranged because I'm probably going to need three good sized pens.
I just realized yeah. too that remember when uh, we got the forklift fixed because we had a bunk tent? Yeah, that bunk is still down. <laughs> I think we got everybody relocated to where I want them. Uh, I'm gonna do chores quick and then I'll catch up with you guys again because after I'm done chores, I have to sit down in my office and actually figure out uh, breeding groups for tomorrow. So that's already entered into my Gallagher. And then when we scan the U, it'll tell me what group I have to put them in. Hey, you look happy to in your car. It is much later and I am having a really hard time trying to make these breeding groups work. Here's my dilemma. I have a group of ewe lambs who I always want to breed separately. If you put ewe lambs and mature ewes together with a breeding group, what I've found in the past is that my results were terrible. And I think what I've heard is the older ladies kind of, they don't bully, but they, they dominate. And the boys seem to just hang out with them and they ignore the little ones or the little ones just might take their cue and take off. So I want to keep all the ewe lambs together. I have too many mature ewes that I want to breed to that group. So I'm just trying to figure out how to make this work without needing a fourth group, but it makes the sorting process really challenging. Three is perfect. Four is just complicated. <laughs> I think I have it figured out. It's not ideal but I think it's as good as we're gonna do with these smaller rams that I have. I'm actually going to sort of rely on my five Tunis ram lambs from last December so I'm hoping that they have the physics to accomplish such theatrics if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to have to divide my terminal ram group in half, so half of them will go with my ewe lambs, and I want them with mature rams that know what the scoop is, because I don't want one, I don't want both playing shy. That's typically what I do if I have mature ewes and I have new ram lambs, I'll put the ram lambs with the mature ewes, but I typically don't put ewe lambs and ram lambs together. So we're gonna see, there's only 16 ewes that I'm gonna put those boys on, and I'm gonna give them actually two mature rams too, so hopefully they'll figure it out. And then the other two groups should be okay. I had enough older rams to make up the difference that I actually don't have to rely on those little juniors that I bought last week, my little junior mints. I did not want to rely on five month old rams to know what they're doing. The other thing I've been very concerned about is the intense heat we had last week. This barn is very nice in the summer, but I don't care who you were, last week was like, it felt like 40 every single day, and I am concerned that the heat may have taken its toll on their ability to breed. I don't even know how to talk about this, because YouTube is gonna <laughs> flag this video, so I'm trying to talk about the parts that you need to make babies without saying the parts. It's ridiculous, like, oh my god. With extreme heat, 
it can affect the stuff that the rams need to create babies. So I am very concerned that this could be a very poor result. So even if they look like they're doing what they're supposed to do, it doesn't necessarily mean that what they have is usable, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I think I got everything opened up. Yeah. But I hate it when she like starts making fun Good morning. You know what today is all about. We are pulling cedars. This is an out of season breeding group, which means we assist a little bit. Uh, so the cedars synchronize their cycle. So I'm hoping when we pull it today, within the next 24 to 36 hours, we should see the most majority of them, 80% of them, come into heat. And then I will leave the boys in for 21 days because typically we have a few stragglers that miss their first cycle, but they might catch in their second cycle. So I usually try to give them two chances because the cedars and the PMSG costs quite a bit of money. So to sort of feel like it's worth it, I like to give them two bangs for my buck. So the PMSG is something I do out of season. I, I did not add it when we did this in the fall because that's our natural breeding season. So you don't really need to give them anything to drop eggs. So Chris is mixing them up right now and I'm gonna start pulling cedars. Okay, we pulled the cedars. Now we're gonna scan each you and see which breeding group I've designated them to yesterday in the office. So I've got four cans of paint. Uh, group three will be divided into two. So we have four breeding groups total. We're gonna paint them all right now. We're gonna paint them on their bums, the ewes on their bums. And then when the rams mount, hopefully they'll rub that paint off. And then we can just have a sort of visual as to how we think this has gone. Now, just because they do the motions doesn't mean that there wasn't heat damage done to them internally. So it's still very much a fingers crossed situation right now because it was so hot last week. And boys don't like the heat. Okay, so we'll do, this looks like a ewe lamb. Oh, group three at the top. That's what I'm looking at. Don't let me look there. Let me look there. Okay. So she's group three, which will be a little bigger than the second group three. So let's do... Let's do them orange. It's going to take a lot of thinking on my part. are with the girls. The final groups look like this. This first pen is team green but really team red because they're all Tunis. 
I put all my new little Tunis boys that were born in December that I held back, I put them with their dads because there will be no relation. So that was my logic. So they are all together. So that's five young ones with two older ones. So let's hope that that works. It is a mature you group, so I'm hoping um, that they will help in the situation. Team Purple is Billy's group, so these are all Rito. And I ended up putting my new Rito Rams that I got from Bill with Billy's group. So they are now a part of group two. So they will always be group two Rams. And these are the boys that are getting older. So this is Billy. Uh, William is definitely older than Billy. So yeah, there's a couple Williams age still that are, like I said, getting a little long in the tooth. So the new ones will be replacing those boys. I'm not relying on them. The numbers of the U's match the numbers of the older boys. So the little ones are extra. If they work, great bonus. But I'm assuming they're just here for learning purposes. Okay, Team Orange is all my U lambs with the Dorsets. Just the numbers worked out. So we have six Dorsets with the U lambs. And then, yeah, that's Team Red right there. So those are all the newer Rito Rams that I got. So the ones from Manitoba and the ones that I got a couple summers ago with Belinda when we went out east. Um, no action yet. Probably this time tomorrow we will hopefully see a little more action. We are down to our final few orders. Uh, the launch sold out, so thank you again. You guys are wonderful. Jess is on her way down. I think she's just showering and she's gonna help me fill these last few orders. So I'm just gonna do the thank you notes real quick here. Robin, Mary, Anna, Poland. Thank you, Anna. Judith, Heather, Carl, Jennifer, Sam, Martha, Vanessa. And the last one is Meg. The Sheepishly Me basement launch is complete. Congratulations, Andre. Thank you. You survived your first launch. So far. Yay.